It's the left versus the right in the right corner. Dominic Carter in the left corner. It's Anthony Weiner. Now to the Bernard McGurk Studios. It's a 77 WABC debate. The melee in the metropolis. So welcome to Left versus Right. Anthony Weiner on your left. Dominic Carter on your right. Dominic, you've had a busy week. Lots going on. And late this week, something breaks. We're going to talk about the debate. Don't worry. we mm-hmm. got plenty to chew on. Mm-hmm. But we should spend a moment just to talk about what is now a firestorm of investigations that are affecting sure New York City. The police commissioner um, is forced to resign. And for those of us who listen around the country, the police commissioner is probably the second best known official in New York. That's how big a deal it is. There are more NYPD officers than there are in the FBI. That's the biggest police organization in the world. What, what do you think's going on? I think that this uh, FBI, first of all, nice to be here with you, Anthony. I think this FBI investigation is continuing. When you have in one week, I've been covering politics a long time. You've been around a long time. We're not old men yet, but we're getting there. (laughs) And I have never, maybe in your recollection, you can tell me different. I have never heard of the FBI raiding the homes of two deputy mayors and the police commissioner. And so once the FBI raids the home and the, the mayor, commissioner, right, and the mayor, let's not leave that out. They took his devices. Yeah. So once that happens as police commissioner, you're done. The only question was, when was Eddie Caban going to walk the plank? He walked the plank yesterday, Friday. Uh, but it, 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 this is far from over. It appears that the feds have their, their, their net out uh, and their, a, they may be looking for me. You know, Eric here's Adams. the thing. We've had scandals in this town and we've had scandals around the police department. A whole movie Serpico is made about one of them. Mm-hmm. We've had the Mullen Commission. We have scandals in the police department. It's a very difficult agency to run because like you've got a lot of people out there, you know, and it's made more complicated by the idea that Caban, the former commissioner, he had a brother who was kind of a lobbyist as a fixer kind of thing. But here's the thing that I find amazing. It's not one, it's not two, it's not three. It looks like four different varying federal investigations. And you know, being in the news business for so long, very often when it finally comes out, you're like, oh, it's that. Like we all think we know, but we don't really know what's going on. But the fact that there are so many different little strands to this thing, you've got, you know, the People's Republic of China, you've got you've got uh, things from Turkey, you've got the police commissioner and maybe fixing things at nightclubs, it is kind of chaotic. And I don't care how strongly you are committed to governing the city. If you're the mayor, it's hard to keep focus when every day your beeper is going off or you're, 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 you're getting someone whispering in your ear that another one of your commissioners has been raided. This list is very bad for Adams. And by the way, you know, we're, ta- we're going to talk the rest of the show about the 2024 election. 2025 is when this mayor is up for re-election. That's not a lot of time to right the ship. And he's in trouble. Uh, Even without the scandals, when you look at the migrant situation, uh, he's made a lot of constituents that may have stayed home normally, Staten Island, wherever, that are now more energized than ever to turn out and vote. And then you add this. We don't know when the other shoe is going to drop with this. Well, presumably it happens soon because the feds, one thing they don't like to do is be accused of doing something as a 60 day rule. But for him, petitions, just so again, we have a lot of listeners from around the country. And thank you for that, by the way. In February of 2025, petitions go out on the street to get people on the ballot. So it's not like this can wait six, eight months. We are going to find out probably shortly after November election, you're going to hear something from the the Southern District. The Eastern District is involved. So there's a lot of shoes that are dead or dropping now. It is not an easy time. And we all, whatever politics you have, when our mayor is being investigated, that's bad for everybody because he can't focus on his job. Before we move on to the, uh, to the debate, I saw no scenario where Caban could survive. Did you? Well, it looked very much like Adams said, you either quit or I fire you. You can't have a, a police of all the officers. By the way, standard operating procedure, if you have someone who's under investigation, at least you put them on leave. You can't have a police commissioner on leave. A police commissioner is it. And also, if it's a corruption case... What is the message sent when you don't, to the rank and file, a bunch of 22 or 23 year old young guys and women who, you know, what are you telling them about, you know, that even the appearance is not good. So again, it is, but here's the thing, if I'm Adams and I hear our our brother Curtis Lee would talk about this a lot and I'm a Democrat and I, I want Adams to be a success. You've got a lot of 
I don't know how to put this, a lot of incestuous stuff going on. You've got wives of, you know, the the the, the education commissioner is right. in a relationship with the with deputy the mayor. Deputy, with the first deputy right, mayor. Right, the mayor has a Gina brother. Wright. Right, you have the mayor who's got a brother who works for the police department. You've got Caban, who has a twin brother of all things, who's a lobbyist dealing with law enforcement. And was receiving police protection. And you've got the deputy mayor for public safety, Phil Banks, who was an unindicted co-conspirator. Co Right. The last time around, he's got uh, uh, the brother that's the school's chancellor, and they've got a third brother that's a lobbyist. Right. And all of this is under right. And you can say everyone should be judged just on their work and not connections with someone else. But the problem is for voters who devote one percent of their brain to this kind of stuff, all they think about is what is going on. It seems out of control. And and frankly, this would not be the first scandal that undid a mayor. But it is certainly not a, not a good day for um, uh, agreed for for, for New York. All so, right, so we went we went what about five minutes without disagreeing. Well, here's uh, you know I got to tell you I was going to start off this. We've now had a week. Well, basically a week. The debate was was on Tuesday. We've had a week to kind of do the reviews and to see what other people think. And I've been listening to your coverage. You and I were on a panel together right before and right after. And you said something that turned out to be very prescient. And I played it on my show on Saturday, where when you were summarizing, and you're an expert on debates, and we're going to talk about the problems that you see with the moderators. You said if, if uh, uh, Donald Trump can keep his cool and be presidential, he will win the debate easily. Did he do that? I think... That it wasn't his finest debate performance, but I don't think that he lost the debate. I know he's been, for the most part, widely criticized, or or maybe I should say, uh, the, it it's been uh, reported that Kamala Harris won. Yeah, the consensus is kind of settled. Okay, there. the consensus. Yet, the consensus also needs to be that she didn't say one thing of substance. And they let her walk. So that's that's meaning the moderators. Yeah. Hey, by the way, you explain this to me, Mr. Guy. Videos of you and I on yes. TikTok. Yes. One is two million plus. Yeah. Another one is one point eight million or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So what, what TikTok is owned that? by the Chinese. They want to undermine our country by promoting this to our kids. <laughs> I told you a couple of weeks ago, Jordan, 13 year old Jordan Wiener had in his feed a skinny Jewish guy and, and a distinguished looking black guy yelling at each other. And no, I get I don't listen. What I don't know about social media, I don't believe social media. I don't think it helps our debate very much. I think shows like this where people get even, even sometimes criticize us, but at least we let issues breathe. Listeners like ours, they don't just rely on 30 second video to make up their mind but if it gets the word out there about our show and apparently it is our show's doing very well so i'm glad tiktok is there but getting back to the debate for a second okay i mean here's here's the thing i think you're right consensus is settled in and you stipulated that you think that that you know trump didn't have his best i'm going to say something about debates we all thought hillary clinton won both debates let's remember that in 2016 the whole consensus was hillary clinton won you don't know who really won Sometimes for a long time. But here's the thing that I think that, that you and I both said something like this when we were on the pregame show. It was all about Kamala. Now, you said that she didn't um, come across as substantial, but she did what she needed to do. She wasn't on teleprompter. Every answer was pretty tight. You can say that you don't like her answers. She looked good. Her, you know, remember that that Joe Biden face when he wasn't on camera that you look like, oh, my God, his, his mouth is a jaw. She was expressive. She sometimes you might not like the expression, but she seemed like a human being. And on the other hand, we all know you've done a million of these debates, nonverbal communications. She seemed relaxed. He seemed pissed off. But she also did some things, Anthony, that with her facial expressions that were simply not presidential. With all due respect to the vice president, you can't look like Jenny from the block in terms of one of your facial expressions. Literally, Jenny, Jenny from the Bronx. You can't have that type of expression. As president, you have to have a poker face. I don't know. The memes all over the place are the five or six or eight different faces that she had. And a lot of times she had the faces that we, we had. For example... When she did that thing, where when 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 Donald Trump was talking about the the, the immigrants eat, migrants eating dogs and cats, which we've all been talking about nonstop, she had the same face a lot of us had. I watched that here in Studio Seventy Seven with a room full of pretty conservative. Everyone kind of laughed because it was it was almost laughable. She but it, she but laughed, it, but it's true. 
what he said. Okay, it's true. I, I'm, I, 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 I believe. I believe the authorities in that town. I don't have a long. Okay, disagree. so wait. But I do want to ask you one question. Sure. So, is it in any local officials' interest to deny something like that? Yeah. Okay. So, and, but this is a conservative and, guy who's been anti-immigrant. Okay, the but guy wait, who wait, runs that city. Okay, but wait, wait. And in Aurora, Colorado, haven't they denied? Uh, that uh, the migrant issue in terms of migrants taking over a housing complex. Yes, they have. And so it's in a local official's interest. They don't want to be seen bad on a national stage. I think that's right. But have you yet to see a single substantiated case? Yes, I've seen several. And police No, you've reports. seen police reports. People filing reports. People file, I get, do I, I, I went back and looked this up. 2,600. You know what that is? That is the number of reports each year about sightings of Bigfoot. I'm not saying that people don't say crazy things. There's a newspaper down in South Florida off a $5,000 reward for any reporter that can bring an actual person, that, an actual, any actual evidence of this. Whether it happened or not, it was a self-inflicted wound on the part of the president. But you were talking about the nonverbal communications I wanted to talk to you about. Again, it, it was only self-inflicted because of what David Muir did. No, he right raised after, it. No, Trump raised it. And Muir was sitting there with a shotgun waiting for Trump to raise it. And as soon as Trump raised it, he said, I spoke to the local right. official. And that's he, he not true. He fact-checked it. Well, what, and did Kamala get fact checked on anything? Kamala, you know, listen, I, I, she didn't, but she didn't lie as much. Well, she didn't state any policy. Okay, Anthony. I understand, but when you're a moderator, you, you there are times that you're going to fact check and that you're not. For example, no, I, a moderator's role is not to fact that's check. That's not true. Moderators mm -hmm. do that all the time. Mm -hmm. they, they listen. You can the moderator doesn't work for either candidate. It works for me the. Uh, well, actually, actually, in this case, they, no, they, they're, they're, they're the media. Wait, 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 wait. In this case, there are questions about the alliance of ABC. Wait, let, let me just finish. Um, the the sister, the, the Lindsay Davis. What was the woman's name? The, uh, the Lindsay Davis. Yeah. The the uh, they're in the same sorority. The, 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 wait, 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 hold a on A decade now. apart. Okay. That's still, like saying someone went to Cortland okay, as a conspiracy with okay, you. Okay, but, but whether it's a decade apart, the public should have known this beforehand. ABC should have released this information beforehand. Listen. In fact, my contention, considering they were in the same sorority, she should have been replaced as a debate Okay, moderator. that's fine. But, but in terms of the fact-checking, I can, I can give you easily five or 10 or 15 or 20 facts that, that, that uh, Donald Trump got wrong that he wasn't fact-checked on. He, he said that the Europeans are putting more to, to, um, to fighting Ukraine than NATO is. Not true. He said that, that tariffs bring down prices. Not true. He said that, that I mean, uh, he... It's but, not the media's role in a live Dominic, debate with the presidency on the line to fact-check one and give the other a complete pass. Okay. And I will open it up to you to say fact checks that they missed on her part. That's fair. If you want, if you want fact check equal, but what if you don't have? Wait a minute. Is is this your is this your show from from last hour? Because you, you're agreeing. Wait, wait, no, wait no. a minute. Wait I, a minute. Wait, I, wait. I'm saying. Wait, wait. Are you still on from last hour? No, I, I'm I saying. Just, wait, wait. I just finished listening to you. I know. I'm saying. And, you're, and yet, I'm saying and it's yet, beside. And yet, and yet you're being reasonable. No, I'm saying it because. I'm trying to give you credit and, and you're getting flustered. No, no, I'm you're saying. You're being reasonable. I understand. Is, is, hello? I know, is I Anthony know. Weiner over there? Let, let, let me talk a little bit. Hey, Ooh, by yeah. the way, mm -hmm. I was at the Whitestone Republican Club. Uh, I heard about night, that. You crushed and, it. And and then they brought you up and said, uh, say hello. I, I did okay in Whitestone. They, they, Whitestone's gotten very conservative. It's, you know, it's one of the few places as a Republican city council. This has been uh, 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 Vicky Palladino. I, it, I it, love Vicky it Palladino. Al it always went back. Yeah, she, but she, but, but she, she got me good, man, because when she called me up, she started dancing with me, and yeah, I'm not a I great heard, dancer, I, I heard this. and so. I heard this. But but it, so, it was fun, and they the, the so folks let me, sent their regards. So, okay. me, so, so here's here's Kamala thing. some of the Trump. things. Well, we we can do Kamala. Let's, let's do let's do the the moderators a little more because okay. I've been listening to you talk about moderators, and you're right. I won't dispute. You are an expert on moderation of debates, and you've you've interrupted me and corrected me in debates. Moderators, I don't think I corrected you. Moderate well. You 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 invented something called I, I don't want to get off on a tangent. You right. invented something called a lightning round, saying one word answers, right? right? Yeah, yes or no, right? right. And, and I, one of I, I might, let me I just might have up. Go let, ahead. Let me Go make ahead. let me make my point. And one of the reasons you did that, not to get into your head, was that you knew that you were doing a favor for the voters of seeing how politicians react when they have to ask a direct question directly, and you knew. 
that some people were going to have a tough time answering a one word, are you going to send your kids to public school? That's a complicated question. I, 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 let me just say this. I regret that one. Uh, okay. I, 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 I know. really do. This is 2005. But I, let me, I know, but I let just. Let me make my I, point. That, that, I'll let, I, will, I, I will let you make. Okay, We're going to have to explain the whole background. So no, no, I'm I don't want to get bogged down it. it. That's just. I, to people that have followed my career, that's the question that I. It was a hot live question that I asked of Gifford Miller, who at the time was running to. He, he, was, he was in running line. For mayor, yeah. He was in line to be mayor. And I didn't know that within his family structure, there, there was debate. His family was well-to-do. I didn't know there was debate. Yeah, here's, over- the, but the problem with that question, and again, we're getting bogged down, is I was on stage, a single man who had no kids. Me saying, yes, I'll send them to public schools, as it turned out, I didn't. Huma said, I want Jordan to go to this other private school, and he does. Um, so it was an easy answer for me, an easy answer for other people on stage, but he was the only one that actually had kids in the system, so it was a little bit of a gotcha on I him. I think for rare. I, I think thought for rare's kids had already gone through. But all that being said, and so all well, that being to, said, to end the story, to end the story, it was it, his mother right after the, the the families are the ones that I really care about the most, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And I went back to my dressing room. But and, anyway, and, before you tell the story, so Gifford stepped on it. He couldn't quite answer it. He says, and he said, Pam, Pam. He called out his he wife's out name. his wife's name. And that was the lead story the next became day. a little papers. bit of, a, if we would have had memes, then that would have been a meme. Right. Yes. And his mother, a very, very nice woman. I, I'm going to get back to Kamala. And I, a real I, community I, leader in New York, we and, should say. Yes. And she was, she came back to my dressing room and she was so upset. Yeah. And it's one of the things that I regret because it was a legit issue. But that, on that stage that night, Ended Gifford Miller's campaign for mayor, right? But and he never recovered. And I, and I, and I think that you're an honorable man, and and it's, and it's good of you to to to, to say so, that. So I, I think you're being I think you're being a little question. hard on yourself because the point I was going to make was as the moderator, you were not working for me or for Gifford Miller. You were working for the audience at New York One at the time because you want knew that there you wanted to try to reveal things about the candidates. This mo- this debate, getting back to the moderators, there wasn't a single gotcha question. Every question we saw coming a mile away. You had the Kamala Harris question flip-flopping. You had January 6th. You had, who do you support for Ukraine? Everyone knew these questions were going to be coming. One candidate had their package two-minute answers. The other candidate was constantly getting thrown off. I don't think the moderators are who you really want to blame. That's not true. They had, you're correct with the premise. They had the legitimate questions to ask. Kamala, so the two, first of all, they broke protocol. Yeah, I've heard you say that. Flesh that out a little bit. By, okay. By, by so, letting him speak too often? So, so, no, it was supposed to be question to one candidate, two-minute answer, two-minute rebuttal, and then the final minute back to the other candidate. The very first question uh, <laughs> went over went the two minutes. Oh, Harris went longer on well, that first it, question? It, but but then they, they went back and forth, back and forth, back for like five or six minutes. But it was the economy. I don't mind them doing that. Do you okay, mind them doing but, that? But no, but, but if you're going to have a format and you're going to announce a format to the American people, you should stick to the format. Because it's not fair, and it's not fair. Who who is benefited by that? I don't get the point. Who Kamala who benef- Harris is benefit because she's the one that wanted the open mic. She wants to attack Trump on everything he says. the 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 debate ended up being a referendum on Trump. Correct. And not and that's not what it was supposed to be. Right. But but whose fault? That was not the no, moderator's no, fault. No. Yes, it is the moderator. They wouldn't make her answer anything. Wait, hold every, on. When, every when you question, say every question they asked her. Let, so let's say she had she has two minutes to answer the question. Correct. Right. Right. She would take, they'd, they'd ask a legitimate question. Correct. And she would talk for 15 seconds. About substance. Right. And then but zing not really, and, and then zing off the Trump. Right. And they permitted her to do that on every well, single question. Well, wait a minute. Question. Wait a minute. You think the moderator should say, you can't zing your opponent? No, no. I think the moderator should say, any responsible moderator should say, Madam Vice President, you didn't answer my question on policy. Well, hold on a second. On policy. They did that a few times when there was not, like, I can't think of it. And again. They didn't do it once to her. But she always started exactly what you just said. She would start out with her substance. For example, let me give you an example. And then she would pivot after 15 seconds. And zing the opponent. So let me give you an example. But that's not, but that's playing exactly into her shortcomings. Yes. And that that is no policy, no anything. But it only works. I'm not Trump. But Dominic, that only works if you're debating someone who lets you do it. At a certain point, why didn't Donald Trump say, you know, I didn't hear you answer that question, Kamala. 
Because the debate that's moderator, his job. No, that's the moderator's job. Well, let, uh, the when, moderators were all over Trump. When we get back, let's go through a couple of the specific. All of the newsworthy questions had one thing in common, and that is Kamala Harris poking Donald Trump and Donald Trump saying things that made a lot of news. And we'll get to that. Left versus right. We'll be right back. It's the left versus the right. Now, to the Bernard McGurk Studios, it's a 77 WABC debate. The melee in the metropolis. 77 WABC. So welcome back to Left versus Right. Anthony Weiner on your left, Dominic Carter on your right. All week this week, there was a lot of programming. We did some special programming around the debate. Mm -hmm. You can get all of it on the Red Apple Podcast Network, anywhere you get podcasts. Also, it's up on YouTube. And as Dominic mentioned earlier, I'm sure they'll figure out a way to make some uh, TikTok videos. I don't know if they can make a TikTok video of me just sitting there smiling the whole time. But uh, uh, I feel like we had a pretty good week. But you, as we left, you were making this point about the, the, mo the moderators. And as much as I disagree with you on stuff, I do consider you an expert on this stuff. But I'm, I want I want to get my arms around a little bit what the critique is because all the time a good debate answer as a candidate is the following you start with a statement of values i believe in legal immigration then you go to something resembling your idea proposal i think we should do the immigration law that wasn't passed and then you kind of close with something that has one of two objectives either shut off any further questions or shift it back to the other guy a contrast she did that textbook every single time. So the immigration question, the best question for Donald Trump, I think we would both agree, was going to be immigration. She started out by saying, I was a prosecutor, I prosecuted people. I would have passed the immigration deal that was done that includes these different things. Donald Trump killed it. And then she did something that was we knew was going to happen. She made fun of his crowd sizes. It's not the job of the moderator to get in there, it's the job of Donald Trump not to rise to the bait and talk about his talking, talking points. Okay. So then he does, let me just just remind the listeners, we've heard this a lot, but let me remind you. He goes back to and he uses his immigration answer, his immigration answer. And by the way, the question for, for Kamala Harris was exactly the way you would have put it. Where have you been for three years? That was the, the structure. It was tough on her. Now, she didn't answer that. Then, oh, then Donald Trump answers by saying, my crowd sizes are amazing. Springfield people are eating dogs. Self-inflicted. No, that's not, that's not self-inflicting because, one, he told the truth about Springfield. And you, you'll see in the days ahead that he told the truth. Right now, right now, I will agree. I will concede that he's being criticized for that Springfield remark. What? Listen, okay. When you were in politics, you were known as a guy of substance, right? So Those were the days. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you would have no problem in a two-minute response answering the full question on substance. That's what you liked, right? right? And I did and, her and, answer a thousand and, and, times and, here. And, and we, we knew that was the rap on you, right? But the reason why we did, just to finalize this and put it in a neat bow on it. The reason why we did yes or no questions is because politicians talk forever saying nothing. And it's a way to throw you off your game. So like, it, okay, you're, you're running for mayor and I say to you, um, Yankees or Mets, right? Or, or, or I say, <laughs> which is a, a very serious, you better believe loaded it. political hundred percent. Or if I say to you, have you ever had your nails manicured? Right. The average male politician is going to go into a panic because that's not something right. that you've gone through 100%. with the consultants, right? Yeah, yeah. So, but what Kamala Harris did was she'd answer 10, 15 seconds of substance. And because she didn't have any other substance, she immediately pivoted to attack Trump. I, I know you took exception when I called her an empty suit, but she confirmed that during this debate. Now, was she able to, do a good performance? Absolutely. Is she photogenic? Absolutely. Does that play to her advantage? Absolutely. Did she throw Trump off a bit when she walked over and shook his hand? Absolutely. But the fact of the matter is, and I, I hope I don't live to eat these words, sooner or later, she's going to have to answer some policy. I know, but you know, in that entire answer, you know who he didn't talk about? It was how Donald Trump dealt with having a tough opponent. Like, you know, she, this was so, we saw this coming a mile away. You said no, it in a preview no, show. No, no, you know why? Okay, put yourself in Trump's shoes. Yeah. You, you're, you're running against an African-American woman. Anything you do that's 
close to the line, they're going to say you were sexist and you attacked the woman and it was racial. He didn't have to attack anybody. But when, when she says to him, it's so obvious what was happening because it kept happening over and over again. She turns to him and said, you know what? 81 million people fired this guy and he can't seem to take it. When she said... You know, crowd size. She talks about crowd size. But see, but she, hold but, on, but hold on. When she made fun of him being a trust fund baby, right, but, you but, knew but, she but was no, going to do that. His job. But let me just say Trump's side of it. Trump's side of it. If you're a good politician and you are, you're not a, you're not immature. You basically know what they're trying to do. You're ready for it, and you don't let her do it. You said, you want to talk about the money that I was given? Here's what I wasn't given. I wasn't given the the candidacy for president on a platter. I had to work for it. Anything. You just be ready. There wasn't a single question out there that you and I, sitting here, who do, haven't done 50 times. I, she, I should, just he, think, should, he should have been ready. I, I just think we saw a perfect illustration, with all due respect to David Muir, of why a pretty boy anchor man should stay in the anchor chair, reading that teleprompter, and not try to venture into moder- Everybody wants to be a debate moderator. Dominic, everybody, I'm talking everybody about Donald Trump now. Everybody can't be Reggie Jackson. I understand. I'm everybody about Donald wants Trump. to be Reggie Jackson. Everybody can't do Let's it. Let's be Donald Trump's advisors. Was there any question there? I mean, if you're Donald Trump's advisors and she's making fun of your crowd size, so let, let, you're, you should be ready for it and have a good answer. Was his answer good? Let's let's be Kamala's advisors. So are, are, are you really going to run this race by beating out the clock and no policy? Dominic, we're talking about the debate. We both acknowledge right, but, the but conventional keep, wisdom is that you want. But you keep pivoting towards Trump. Pivot well, I want to talk about pivot the debate. Pivot towards Kamala. Pivot towards Kamala. I just, I did a long description of how she was structuring her answers and no, why no, they were so successful. No, but you're not talking about the fact that she did didn't put any substance on the Name table. Name a question that she didn't. She didn't answer any of them. How about the immigration question? Should we should, start with that one? Should, should, what, the what opening question. Well, here, here's what. Anthony Weiner could have answered that for her. Exactly. Let, let, me, let, me, exactly. Let, me, let, me, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. What you say every week. Yeah. We had a bill yeah. that would have put 1,500 border agents. And I And Donald it. Trump killed it. What? Nonsense. Well, you say okay, nonsense, so, but okay. that's what it means. Here's why. It, here's why. It's that's her position. Here's why it's nonsense. When they say, "Madam Vice Vice President, where have you been for three and a half years?" Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Donald Trump used that line, very effective line, in his closing statement. You cannot think no. that was a, you. You do it on me no, every wait. week as their oh, opening statement, okay, well, and he didn't get to it. Why? Because he's too busy beefing about cats and dogs being eaten and, in crowd and, size and and, and and defending no, himself. No, like no. and 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 they gave her a layup. First of all, which one? Why would you ask the abortion question in the first twenty minutes, knowing that that's a grand slam for her, and Trump is on the total defensive? The very first question was about the failures. No, of the I econ- didn't say. I didn't say the first question. I said in the first. No, 20 I'm telling minutes. you what the first one. The okay. first one was a hammer job okay. on her. Meaning what? Meaning the question was, do you regret not doing the economy better? And 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 she answered for how long on the topic? She answered and then pivoted and threw the complete question. She won that question okay, when okay, she should have been okay, crushed on okay, it. But, but notice. That's, but that's, okay, on, that's but, on Trump. Okay, okay but, no, but notice, notice. The moderators did not okay, give her an easy question okay, to start. But, you got to admit. No, but notice you're not acknowledging that she did not answer any policy questions. Okay. That's wicked. I, I'm, all right, hold that's on a second. That's wicked on the American the people. The first question was asked was, was basically, are you better off than you were four years ago? That is the Trump framing of the question. If you are a Democrat at that moment, you're like, they just set up the framing of that the camp uh, the Trump campaign wanted. And she answered the question by deflecting it. It's not a good question for her. I'm not going to answer. Yes, I'm, I'm going to talk about, here's my proposal on housing. Here's my proposal. On housing. And then I mean, at the end of it, I'm going to try to win this question by putting in a zinger about Donald Trump and hope I can throw the whole world off. Okay. And it works. So, but that's so, not okay, Donald so Trump. Listen. So is she going to be, be able to put a zinger in on Putin? Or uh, world leaders. Like, is she is she going to be able to give that Keisha from the Bronx uh, facial expression? Well, let me ask you this: Putin? when when she said to Donald Trump, and I have the notes from that night, when I'm like, NATO allies are thankful that we don't have you as president anymore, right? Because you got pushed around, and all you did was money and favor and all that other stuff, right? 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 And right. you can that, watch his face. No, no, no. And no, he no, lost no, his no, s. No, he no, lost no, his no, his. No, 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 no. And no. and by the no, no, we had, we didn't have any wars under Trump. We didn't well, have any you wars. You keep saying Trump. that. We, he, he, we, we didn't have any. How look, come he didn't get out of Afghanistan? Look, then? look, look at the Afghanistan. We're not going to do. We're not going to do our own debate. Look, look, look. Let's look take at, the look, Afghanistan look. question. You you say that the you you say that the moderators did a terrible job. How and come they didn't awful, stop? How come, awful. Okay, Mr. President, President Trump, who's Abdul? You keep talking about. 
They didn't do that. They let him ramble about Abdul, and they didn't ask him, who the heck is Abdul? He's not the leader of Afghanistan. He's not the leader of the Taliban. But he inflicted that damage, not the moderator. But I want to just, I just want to return to this idea of what Donald Trump's objective was in the campaign. You said it right. We all knew what was going to happen. She was going to try to get under his skin. Okay. and but, that's what but, happened. But, but notice, and what does that tell you about the but, leader of our country? But notice you keep pivoting to Trump. You're not talking about the fact that we learn anything new in that debate about Kamala Harris or her Well, policies. I know you know, learned something new about Kamala Harris, and she's very good off of teleprompter. That's something you yourself no, said you wanted to no, learn. No, no, she no, was tight. No, she no, was smooth. No. She didn't mess anything up. Anthony, when it's three against one, it's much I know. Easier. You're returning to the moderators. You say you want to talk about Harris. I talk about Harris. Now you want to talk about the moderators No, no, again. no. Because you, I'm asking you, what did we learn new? About her policies all of the during things, that debate. All of the questions were all the same policy questions you got on CNN. Okay, but... So we all know so, what the questions so, are. So, so, the way, you know words, the, the most so in other Google, words, we haven't learned anything new about her policies. Hey, can I... In debates, you don't learn about the policy nuances. Because they're usually... They're, they're questions they get asked a thousand times. For example, I'll give you a question. Will you sign an abortion ban? Simple yes or no question. My, my dude, it's this... How can you not know you're going to get asked that? Who are you rooting for? And, in, no, and notice she didn't answer the question on abortion as far as restrictions. She uh, did. About, she no, said she to, did not about about when 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 the restrictions will come at an end. She did. in terms of the no, she did not. I, it's been widely reported that she ducked, I bobbed, you, and weaved. I, and did I, I not didn't bring the question. transcript, but she started by saying, "I believe in the restrictions under Roe v. Wade. I want to restore those." Okay, and we all she, know what those are. So, and, and that I, is, I, if I was moderating that debate, and I would have said, and, "What and, are they?" And wait, wait, and the race question that was disgusting. It went to it went to went to your guy, and, and, and look, okay, okay, it was and, asked okay, of her okay, on listen, CNN. It's the question listen, we all knew was going to come up. Listen, listen, listen. So that's a perfect example of how they broke the format. They asked the question to Trump. Yeah. She's he's supposed to respond for two minutes. She's supposed to respond for two minutes. And then he's supposed to have the final rebuttal on that question. She kept saying, no, no, I have more to say. And they what kept was his going, an- But the question started with him. What was his answer? Do you remember? He said, I remember exactly what his answer was. He says if she basically what he said the first time, if she wants to be black, I'm fine with that. If she wants to be Indian American, I'm fine with that. No, he started out by saying, I don't know why everyone's making a big deal about this. I just read this. And then Muir interrupted and said, no, we're talking about what you said. Just to clarify what his question you're, was. You're, you're correct. And then that. he goes, I just said, I don't remember saying, I, blah, 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 blah. How but could, again, he but was again, so, but, but, but let again, me just, let me just. on Trump. I keep <sighs> asking you about Kamala Harris I know, but policy. we're now, at this moment. But, but can you in, focus on Kamala Harris policy? In this moment, policy? Dominic, I get what you're trying to do. See, but just no, wanna, I, just, I just want. Dominic, I, in this second, we're talking about a Trump answer. No, he, I don't he, have to he, do Here's what I want you to, to do. Sure. I want you to admit that she's running a con on the American people. I want to see if you can be honest that she's running a campaign of no substance and a, a, Dominic, it's working in some circles. She was not the one. Okay, but can you answer the was, question on her? and policy okay we've been doing Kamala Harris I'll continue doing it we haven't done every single question every single question she answered with a policy piece and then how long did the policy piece last before you've made this point I've told you how she structured every answer you're unhappy with the way she answered her questions I get it your guy your guy looked foolish I get it no 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 she looked foolish any debate moderator that has any credibility moderator. would have said, no, Madam Vice President, you did not answer my question. Please answer my question. Okay, give me an example she didn't On answer. On every single one of them. Name one. And every I will, one of them, the economy. Okay, all right, what's the one at a time? She started with the economy, and she laid out her proposals on the economy. No, she did not. She did. She said, we're going to have a, a tax credit to buy new homes. Small businesses get $50,000 credit. I'm going to expand the child tax credit. And then what she did is made a contrast with her opponent standing on the stage right over there and made him look foolish. That's she, what didn't, the mo- she didn't make him look foolish. Okay, well, decide what we're talking about. Are we talking about that she didn't answer substance or she didn't no, make him look foolish? What, what, I can what, do both. Okay, I'm saying substance. Okay, Your next question. Can- I, I just did substance on one. Okay, Give me wait, another one. She wait, didn't wait, do wait, substance wait, wait, on. Wait, wait, wait. That's la la land. None of that stuff is going to happen. What she proposed, but okay, but it's you a substantive it answer. It. You might not okay, like it, but okay, it's a substantive okay. answer. Anthony, all I'm trying. Did she answer? Substance yes. on all the questions. Hey, give me another okay. one. I just gave you economy. Give you want to do immigration? She, she didn't answer. Do you want to do? On do any you want to do choice? Do you, all every, she did was pivot, and you just said that she did great without a teleprompter. Anybody can do great if it's three on one, and all you keep doing is saying, "Look, look at the other guy." 
Not, not, yeah, not that's part of idea. that's what a debate is. What are you no. new in town? That's no. what a debate is. No. A no. debate is no. taking shots at the other guy. That's no. why we all watched. No, no, no. That those moderators should never ever do a debate. Okay, she, and you and, want to go back and, to the moderators? And 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 the woman had a um, a conflict of interest. Yeah, you know that this the public that the public should have known about in advance, and she should have been disqualified from doing it. You know what this because, reminds me because, but see, but ABC wanted to put a woman of color in there. And say, and you know, to sit there with empty suit David Muir. Another empty suit. I mean, he's a pretty boy. Another pretty boy. He's a pretty boy. You know what this reminds he's, me of, Dominic? He's wonderful at reading a teleprompter, okay. but he should never moderate. You know what a this reminds again. me of, Dominic? This reminds me of a quarter of a head coach who sits down for a press conference at the end of the game. And he just lost fifty-seven nothing. He's complaining that the line judge missed the call in the second no, quarter. No, 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 no. That's no. the sign of a loser. No, 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 no. What, what, what? That's I'm the saying, sign what, of no, a loser. No, no, no. What I'm saying to you is the team may have lost. Notice I say may. 17 16 and a bad <laughs> no way, and a bad call by the ref cost them the game. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I I I I think what, what, and so, what I And so and so see I know Let me ask everything you. all you want to do is ask me about Trump. Let's stay on Kamala. Fine. You want to stay on Kamala the entire time Kamala knows who she's rooting for in Ukraine versus Russia. Okay. You know, you know, let, hold on. Let's let's continue. Okay, well, well, you, uh, as, you, Trump, as you Trump know? said, as oh, Trump said, as Trump, Trump said, as Trump said, he she went and met with uh that with, was a uh, lie. Uh, with Vilinsky. No, she he said he said he went she he said he he met with Putin. She met with Putin, which was a lie. One of his okay. many lies. And she didn't get cor- he okay. didn't get corrected on okay, that. Okay, wait, wait. She did the correction. Okay, wait. She said she met with uh, Valensky, Zelensky, right. and Trump counted that that the that the war started three days later. You got it backwards. No. You got it backwards. I don't have it. The backwards. answer with the question was put to. Put- I'm focusing on the substance. I know you, you want to focus question- on, on the minutia because you don't have anything else. No, to No, the say about biggest this. question, the opposite of minutia. Whose side are you on, Russia or Ukraine? No, no, no. That's What's not, bigger than that? That's right not now. What I'm, no, focus on what I'm talking about. Okay, but I answered. Okay, wait. I just wait. I'm see, focused. I'm going to respond. No, okay, but so, oh, but see, wait. Let me try. You it said one more it started time. with her no, saying no, Zelensky. No, 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 no. The let, question to him was, "Whose side are you on?" And he wouldn't answer. No, no, because he's in Putin's pocket. Because he's a shill for Putin. Let me try it one more time. She said, right, first he was asked. Correct. What was he asked? Just catch us up. No, 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 no. Just catch us up so so, so all of our viewers and listeners know what you're talking about. No, no, no. In her response. To him saying what? Please. She said, I met with Zelensky. I think she said five times. She corrected him. Okay, whatever. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, whatever. She She corrected a lie by by your guy. She said she met with Zelensky. Correct. Trump counted. They have so lack of respect for her that three days later the violence started. Is that true? Yes, because okay, he so, met, she met Zelensky to warn so, okay, him. So, so what, but, so, okay, but, so what, wait, wait, what does that say about her as a leader on the world stage that she met with Zelensky and three days later the violence started? She met to tell him that the violence was going to start and that the NATO was behind her. Oh, but can I ask you, mm, mm. you, why do you start that question in the middle? We'll have to find that out when we get back from a break. It's the left versus the right. It's a 77 WABC debate. The melee in the metropolis. 77 WABC. So welcome back to Left Versus Right. If you miss any part of this, if you come in in the middle, it's available as a podcast. But we encourage you all to listen live at 4 o'clock because that's when our phones start blowing up, you know. And <laughs> in the middle, we know people are engaged with the program because in the middle, I go back. Obviously, I can't look at my phone. In the middle, people are already texting. Tell him this. Tell him that. Like, but, did, uh, did you see how you got me in trouble at the um, at the uh, big fundraiser, Mr. Katsimatidi's, uh birthday that was at Sepriani's? Did, did you catch How did, did I get you, you in trouble? We were at the did, same table. Did, we're at the same table. And did you notice when Vinny, who's about to start in a yeah. few minutes with music, when he shouted us out and said that we yell and scream at each other, did, did you notice we that? We provide the perfect appetizer for his entree. Like, you know, by the time by the time he comes on with that music, people are so eager to relax a little bit. Uh, yes. But uh, let, let's just do this. But this. You've, done, you've done good this week. Thank you. I appreciate it. The, so, the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the slants. The unfair slants towards Kamala Harris, they haven't been too bad. So I tip my cap to you. Yeah. Well, like, look, well, one of the, th- I mean, my, my takeaway. For right now. My takeaway, you know, you watch it through one lens as a radio host, but one lens as being a moderator. I watch it as one lens being a radio host, but one lens being a former candidate. You know, what would I have said? What would I have done? And I didn't come away with a lot of things that I would have done differently on her part. She did kind of a routine. Oh, you know, you would have done it differently. Anthony no, I would have answered. They, they would have. Let, let me just finish had, my point. 
hang on. They would have had to shut you up on policy me, because you would have went from A to Z throughout your entire no, proposal. No, here's yes, what I would have done. I, I know it's debate format 101 for a candidate. And I said this at the top of the show. You start with a value statement. The first thing people want to hear is what do you believe? I believe, you know, every a migrant should be thrown out of the country. I'd like if I was going to do it as Trump, every migrant who's here illegally should be thrown out. Then I would go to a policy proposal. I believe that we should start deputizing all the National Guards to start doing that. Then I would go to a contrast and says, you guys let in 100 million over the course of time. It's killing our communities. And Kamala, you know who one of those migrants was? Your housekeeper, who is not registered or whatever it is. Throw her off. That's routine. Everybody does that. And then no moderator will ever stop you. They want to say, whoa, your housekeeper is not that because I think you yourself actually had a debate where the, an, un, uh, an undocumented housekeeper was, in fact, an issue. I think you might. Yes. That's standard. And she kind of did that. The problem is that if you are a good candidate on the other side, you will either say, I want to go back to something that she said a couple of questions ago because I want to just make sure everyone understands this. Happens all the time in debates. You don't let them see you sweat. You smile. You don't grimace. You pretend you're writing something down. He, he didn't you don't, sweat. He did Oh my goodness! His his. She's the one that made the Keisha uh, frown. His the nonverbal. What's up with that? The nonverbal. Hold on. Let me just let me, let me just finish my point. I was doing and, some and, stuff. You're talking about nonverbal, and she was the one basically smiling. smacking her teeth. Smiling. She was the one, no, no. She was smiling. What I'm talking about the how part many times when did, she frowned. How many times did Donald Trump look at okay, her? Okay, but see, I didn't ask you about Trump right now. I know. I said, I'm okay, responding about okay, it. But can, can you we have, can talk about but, all but, things at once. You we're not keep ducking. I want you, what was up? I just want you to respond. I have, duck, I have five I want, times okay. answered the Kamala okay. question. No, no. I'll no, do no, any question no, you want no, about Kamala, no, no, but I, to do a whole look, debate no, without no, talking no, about what the whole look, country's look, talking look, about, okay, which is how okay. your guy lost no. his... Okay. Lost his marbles, okay. man. I want you. No, that's not what the country is talking about. Half the country is talking about. She came on that debate stage with no substance, no policy, and it's a con on the American I'm people. Sorry, my man. But I want you to explain You're not this to attention. me. I want you to explain this to me. What's up with that? Rolling eyes. She didn't roll her eyes, but I thought that was next. I want to say. I it. thought she was going to say, "Hold my earrings." The Kamala memes were off. The she responded the way America did. If you have someone who's... Look, I was sitting here in the studio. And, and the president I was of the United here. States of America. No, he's a former president, 34-time convict. No. Uh, he, oh, the, the, the on, president, man. The president, and by the way... Uh, you, you do realize... That came up. You do realize... That came up in the yeah, debate. Yeah, who, he was like who, unready for it. Who brought it up? Kamala brought it up. Right, on a substance question. About crime. Okay, and so a question... You didn't think that was going to happen? First of all... Did you not read all the previews about prosecutor versus convict? First of all, first of all, it's not funny. Second of all... She's asking our country is out of control with crime, and she's talking about Trump's conviction. Yeah. Okay. That's, would what, you not expect what is she that? Thought, what is she, remember what she did in Minnesota, raising money to get a, a, a couple of those uh, animals uh, uh, to get bail, Fine. and they went on to commit serious crimes? Hey, Dominic crimes? Carter, you were not on stage. Let's talk about what actually happened, which is, which is she made fun of him for being a trust fund baby and being a convict, and he lost it and started yelling into the microphone. First of all, he did not start yelling. Oh, second my God. Of all, second of all, it was three against one. So, so wait, Let's I go back make, to the I, moderators. I want to make sure I got this right. Go ahead, pal. So she's asked a question about Pickle. crime in the country. Right. And she doesn't even give any policy answer. She and says crime is down. And immediately pivots. That doesn't answer what she's going to do in the future. That wasn't the question. And, and then immediately. I don't think the question. I, I don't and remember then, that question. And then immediately. What was the crime question? And then, Remind and then me. Immediate, I don't remember the question. I remember question. it either. And then immediately pivots to Trump being a felon. Well, he said defund the police. Uh, well, she did. She should, did advocate. Should the moderator? Should the, never did. Never did. She, never she did. didn't advocate. She's never done. Did. She's done radio interviews. Never said defund the police on on, uh, on Hot ninety seven and no, no stations done, here in New the York. The best I've seen any source for this oh. was a was a buy was a, a Trump ad where she says the answer to crime is just is not just hiring more cops. Yeah, I think a lot of people no, agree with that. She's on the record no. as for calling for defunding the police. Okay, but but you know whose job it is to clean that up, Kamala. Kamala, she said, I never did that. And that's why she shook her head no. By the way, I, and I want to remind you something. If you're going to complain about the moderators, let's just get the facts out there. Kamala Harris spoke for 37.1 that, minutes. That's irrelevant. That's Jay irrelevant. Dominic, don't interrupt me. No, what, what to you're going to say is Trump spoke for five minutes. I know, more. but let me say that's it. That's irrelevant. Okay, but let me say focus it anyway. On, can you please focus We're on the We're talking about the moderators. I want to ask you a question. Dom, no, no, can no. I ask you no, a question? Dominic, I'm not done let, saying let, it. Let me ask Kamala you a Harris spoke for 37.1 minutes, 23 times. Let me ask you Donald a Trump, question. Donald Trump let spoke for 41.9 minutes, 39 times. Let me ask you this question. Kamala Harris spoke for, I want to say this once interrupted, Dominic. 
Well, it's it's been reported. You're not saying no, no. I, 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 I did this, is, Mr. Weiner. Kamala, I want to say Mr. it anyway. Weiner, Mr. Dominic, Weiner, let me say Mr. this. Weiner, what does Dominic, it say? Dominic, you're interrupting. I want to say Mr. this. Mr. Weiner, what does it say that he was fact checked five times and she wasn't fact checked once? Asked and answer. Does, what does that? What did you? What was Asked your answer? answer. I'm not I don't recall it. your answer. He, here's what. Here's, okay, well, I'm going to do. Kamala Harris Weiner. was on. I'm going to keep talking over you, giving these nonsense numbers, which means absolutely nothing. I'm not going to speak again until I can. Okay, well, you can speak, but I'm not. Why am I going to sit here and listen to Trump had five more minutes for her to speak when you know that that's loaded and it means absolutely nothing? So we'll both sit here and be empty, but if and, and, and there'll be a uh, silence over the air. But if you think I'm going to sit here and let you recite those garbage numbers, that's not going to happen. So we'll both sit here and be quiet. Okay. Here's a fact. This is not a garbage number. It's not an opinion. This is a fact. Kamala Harris, by these moderators, was allowed to speak 37 points. I'm going to do to you what and you've done to me. I'm going to keep talking if, if all you're going to do is give those garbage It won't numbers. take long. It won't take long. And, and, but and what's the point? Is to inform our listeners that the, but that the moderators. But focus on the fact that he was fact-checked and she wasn't. I'll, I'll, I'll do that next. Okay, okay, go ahead. I'll do that next. Kamala Harris spoke 37.1 minutes, 23 times total. Donald Trump, 41.9 minutes, 39 times total. He was fact-checked more because he lied more. Okay, so she didn't lie at all. And she shouldn't be fact-checked yeah. on policy. Fact-checked on policy? On, on, on her policy, considering that she was vice president. Nobody knows what she stands for. She's been far left you're, in her career. You're trying to redo the debate. D Donald Trump could have said that, and, she, and he was too busy you yelling about cats. You, you don't think she should have been fact-checked on fracking? Facts? Fact. What fact? Checked. On fracking. 100% should. What fact did she get wrong? But, but, okay. No, it's not a matter of what she got wrong. Oh. What, what, what is the, a fact what, check to you then? What, okay, so. Opinion check, okay. you mean. Be opinion checked? No. I don't think okay. she'd be opinion checked. Okay. I've never heard of that as a debate. But okay. you're, the, you're the expert. What well, should she have been fact checked on fracking? Oh, Anthony. It's Donald listen. Trump's point. It's Donald Trump is supposed to attack her. Okay, okay. So what? Listen. No, so answer listen. the question. You said you want to be fact so, checked so, on fracking. So listen, Tell me what so you would have done. So I'll listen, tell you if so I agree with it. So listen. I would have said, I would have said to her, as the, the, as the okay. moderator. As a moderator. The same way he had that quote sheet on on the eating of dogs, David Muir, I would have had the quote sheet on, on her prior past public statements on fracking. The question was, and why I, did and, you flip-flop? What more do you want? I, and I would have said, well, Madam Vice President, what you actually said in 2016, whatever the year may have been, the same way he she did didn't, the Trump. She, she did the it. The same way he no, did the Donald Trump. Donald Trump told lies. She, no, you you, are like her, you don't like the way she answered no, a question. No, no, no. So you're doing a diversion. This is no, a classic No, you diversion. just said Donald Trump. No, no. You made the parallel. No, no. So I'm going with okay, you. But I'm, I'm doing the best to ride this train. It's, okay. So it's all over the map. Okay. So, but what I'm saying to you, so you don't have. What it, fact on, what so fact do you want to check? you don't have any problem with them uh, fact checking him five times and not once to her. He you lied like thirty five okay, times. Okay, but wait. Let's say I would have liked to. Do, say, I would like a hundred percent fact check. Let, let, let's, let's say he lied a hundred times. Correct. All right, and she doesn't get fact check once. She didn't lie. She lied. She didn't answer anything. You have asymmetrical uh, fact checks. You have asymmetrical anything. lies. That's different than a lie, Dominic. Make up your she mind what you're concerned not, about. She did not answer anything. You know it. I know it, and the American people know it. Everyone who's listening can pause at this point, because I'm just going to repeat what I said before. I'll take a question, and I'll tell you how she answered, and you tell me if it's not substantive. She was asked the opening question was, are you better off than you were four years ago? And she went into a, her all of her proposals. Anthony, Anthony. If you want to... Anthony. She was asked about immigration, Anthony. and she answered Anthony. it. I don't know what Anthony. more you want. You want Anthony. her. You want her to do the, the moderators to do the job that you're lame, old, senile, demented, angry, um, unfit guy could not do. No. Your guy couldn't do it. He's never been good at debating, okay. and he sucked the other okay. night. Okay. Well, what <laughs> I wanted the moderators to do is bail is, him out. No, like an I old man. No. Drew. Okay, listen. He was an old man listen. yelling at clouds. Listen. They bailed her out. On what? what? On everything. On what? The woman didn't answer a single question. You keep saying that. All she did. You have yet to produce a all question. All she did during that entire produce debate. Produce a question, Dominic. All she did during that entire debate is go, I'm beautiful. 
Now let's never all, said it once. Now, now that's now, a lie. Now, now, Dominic, look at me when I say this. Now, that's a lie. You're lying. She never let's said that. Attack Trump. She never with, said with, that. With all of my time, that's a lie. And the moderators Th- never once said, "Madam Vice President, you're not answering the question." If she ever said what you just said, what you just said, Donald Trump was a lie. She never said, "I'm beautiful." That's such listen, a lie. Listen, I the woman never used the word "I'm beautiful," but you don't think she was saying it with her face and when she wasn't doing Keisha from the Bronx? What are you? What are you? You are. What's up? With listen, that. I knew you were going to struggle Keisha today, but this is Bronx. pathetic. Keep, what, struggle every week. You struggle. Okay, fine. You want to talk about the debate? You don't want to talk about the debate. From, it's clear Keisha you don't. From the Bronx. He was, he, What's up with that? He he he. he loved, What's up with that? I don't. I don't frowning, think means. frowning, looking at Trump. Let me ask you. Why, why did Why didn't he just say I I won't sign an abortion ban? What's your theory? I could I could do a, a million rhetorical questions <laughs> just based one. on no 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 no. All you want to do how about the is way she called attention abortion or or in this case let, let me tell you what we don't no- want to do. He wants to talk about abortion or he wants to say how come Trump didn't go on the record with Ukraine? That's all he's got. No, I, because, I've, because I've, the, I've been talking about Harris. Because, I've been talking about whatever you want. Don't moderators. I'll because, go any way you want, because, but it's sooner or later you got to talk about your guy. Okay, what, you what, can't duck it for a whole all, hour. That's all, that's all you've done is talk about Trump. What other topics do you have? By the way, do you know what the number one search term during go. the debate on Google was? Go ahead, abortion. The number one. Great. What does what, that tell what, you? What other topics do you have? You're not going to like the last one. Uh, um, Taylor Swift endorsed. Stop the presses. Oh my God! Did you read her endorsement? Oh my God! Why would I read anything that Taylor it was very Swift thoughtful. puts out? Oh, it was. A, was it about Tavis? Uh, whatever her booze name is, was it about him? I mean, no. It was about. Uh, um, it was about the and, idea and, about how she makes her decisions and, 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 and encouraging how, all of her listeners and, not to vote for Harris, but to go do research for yourself. Right, right, and and, and how uh, great she waits until the middle of the debate. How, how much courage? Look no, it was at the, the end of the debate. Well, she still did it at the debate. Listen, I'm I'm not Good hating. Strategy. I like that strategy. I, 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 I'm, I'm kind of keep the bump going. I'm I'm not hating on her. She's got some. Sure great, sounds that way. No, she's got some great music, but she's an entertainer. Okay, she endorsed uh, Kamala Harris. She's a, they, she's a, she's an entertainment billionaire. What do, what do they know about public policy? Right. Right. Exactly. Uh, Donald Trump? Huh. I, exactly. Talking about Donald Trump now. No, no. Entertainment billionaires. Uh, first of all, you've been talking about Trump. You've been <laughs> you walked into Trump. that one. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 That's no, the buzz no, no, no. You've been talking about Trump the entire. All you have. Are you willing? What are you gonna do? I, I'm serious. When Trump on January twentieth, two thousand twenty-five, ask me this that, election, please. When he wins this election, what are you gonna? I'd do? I'd be very disappointed. I already have already pledged to eat this table. And you're going to do it. I'm going to do it, man. I'm going to do it. I'm, 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 so Taylor Swift endorses. The, well, the, stop the presses. Taylor the, the Swift endorses. But here's the thing. What about the, What about this hey, one? Hey! What about this wait, one? Wait, 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 wait. What about we this haven't one? talked about this. Wait, 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 wait. You want to talk about endorsements? Yeah. Let's talk about endorsements. You brought up Taylor Swift, right? Okay. You want to talk about endorsements, right? Yeah. Uh, Taylor Swift endorsed. Uh, Kamala yep, yep. Harris, right? Right, I'm ready for the right, setup. Right, Bring right. it home. We're getting close okay, to the end of the show. Okay, Bring it okay, home, pal. Okay. Bring so it so home. So since you want to talk about, Bring it home. Big build up. I can't wait to see where this is going. Explain to me. Yes. How embarrassing it is for your ticket for Tim Wall's older brother to endorse Trump. Part A, part B. Part of the extended family in Nebraska. They all that put was on debunked. Trump. They that all, was debunked. They all what, said they've what, never met him. What, wait, 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 wait. That's been debunked. So, so, so that's that's not true. They've all said that, they never met him. That's no, been debunked. No, 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 no. no, no. All, all they have is the last name. No one even knows. They, they, they admit okay. they never all met right. him. Okay, so let's focus on the brother. Uh, could I tell you something? My brother, of a blessed memory, my late brother, Seth. Okay, wait, wait. wait. We, we can talk about your personal stuff. I want you to focus on I am. the president. I am. No, well, you're telling me about well, your brother. You did a big buildup. Let me right, do the right, answer. Right, so you're trying to stall for time. No, I'm going to do you, an it's answer. It's called filibuster, but No, go ahead. I wanted to. You're the one interrupting me. How can I be stalling for time? Go ahead. So my, my late brother said he was a licensed gun dealer, a, a conservative, hard right guy. Okay. Billy Carter. We have members of our family. I, maybe you don't. Maybe your family all gets along. No. And, and people are members of their family are entitled to have whatever views they want. If you tell me there are 50 members of the Mondale family who didn't vote for Fritz Mondale, I would. If you okay. want to tell me there's a Bush out there who didn't like okay. the Bushes, I don't right. know what to tell you. Right. Every you're American stalling. can really. You're every, I'm answering Refer- your question after no, that big no, long build No, 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 no. Refer to the fact that the brother said the stories I could tell. You know, did you hear the not, story? Let me finish. He's not the guy that should be formulating you hear the story? American policy. So can he, you, can he was you, asked. But can, excuse me? He was asked. So tell us one of those stories. And he did. He said on car trips, on long car trips, he would always throw up in the car. We hated him for it. 
I, can I tell you something? Is that the big buildup was for okay, that? Okay, no. You're for ducking. a bunch of relatives he no, never met, no, you're, and you're, his you're brother ducking. doesn't doesn't have his politics. Man, you're, you're my ducking. brother's politics. You're ducking. You're ducking. I'm not. I'm telling you're, you it's a BS no, ridiculous thing for you to you're do ducking. such a big buildup on, on the week of the debate. But one thing I do want to ask you about, because it yes. was pretty crazy. Joe Biden hates you. He said to her, well, is that if you're trying to tie her to Joe Biden, why would you say that? Maybe it's true. Maybe it's true, but it's a completely ridiculous part of it. Your whole thing is you're so close. You're like thick as thieves. You're like this and meshed together. Okay. Joe Biden hates you. If I'm Kamala Harris, I point to that whenever they say you you and Joe Biden are. are he's Donald Trump. Listen, okay, man, well then explain you had a tough me, week. Explain to me. R- no, I didn't. We, we had wrap a us up. Week. Okay. Wrap us up. Take us home, pal. The next day. The last uh, word for Dominic uh, Carter. Here the, it goes. The, the next day after the debate, I think it was the next day. President Biden put on a Trump cap. Explain that one to me. Well, you're supposed to get the last word. He was trying to show unity on September 11th. Yeah, I, I'm glad yeah, he did it. Yeah, yeah. Anthony, we're on the left. Dominic Carter on your right. Stick with the program. Many. Ooh, we may have longer programs in the future as we are only a few weeks away before the election. It's so great to have you along. Thank you so much yes. for your support. Take it away, Vinny Madunio. Janine Pirro here for Colonial Metals Group. Colonial Metals Group helps Americans protect their future with the most trusted store of wealth in human history, physical gold and silver. If you're retiring or retired, go to colonialmetalsgroup.com slash Pirro for your free Janine Pirro Colonial Metals Group Retirement Protection Kit or call 800-965-8004. 800-965-8004 now to receive a free home safe and up to seven. $7,500 in free silver.